Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome aboard. You should definitely hit subscribe and the notification bell before you realize how fucking bad this content is. If this is not your first time on the channel, welcome back. You may want to seek some professional help. But in either case, thank you very much for coming along. I do appreciate you being here. For today's deck profile, we are taking a look at the Thundery Boys. A few weeks back, I did a variant in which I was using a Light Sword engine. Today, we're just going up with that whole Chaos Thunder goodness. Honestly, though, that's really the only way you can kind of play the deck at the moment. It's really not good enough in and of its own right, especially with Colossus being gone. And we can get into a big discussion, but that card can't come back. I fucking love it too. Don't worry. I feel your pain, but it's not fucking happening. Now, if you're watching today's video and you feel inspired to pick up some Yu-Gi-Oh! singles, consider using the link in the description to Jam Jam Cards UK. If you go to the eBay store, using my link in the description, you'll get yourself a nice discount on all their singles. That includes Pokemon as well, if you're a fan of that sort of stuff. But that's enough waffling on from me. Let's get stuck in to the video. So before we get started, let me first apologize if you can hear a loud kind of whirring sound in the background. That will probably be my fan on my laptop going absolutely fucking mental. Hopefully, though, we can edit most of that out so you won't have to put up with too much of that nonsense. And usually we can clear that up for you. But that's enough shit talking from me. Let's get stuck in to the deck profile. So as promised, this is a chaos Thunder List, the most common variant that we see doing the rounds, and for good reason, it is definitely the best way to play this deck. So we start off with what I feel is pretty obvious to play, a single copy of Levianir here. You can up this if you really want to, but honestly I wanted to try and keep this a little bit more tight. A single copy is more than enough, and does a hell of a lot for the deck. A single copy of the Chaos Creator being level 8 can come up if you decide to go down the rank 8 option. I've decided not to do that in this particular build, but it can come up, and the fact that it just helps regenerate resources is absolutely fucking awesome this is definitely one of the best indirect pieces of support that this deck has had two copies of chaos valkyria again i feel that it's pretty self-explanatory exactly what this card does for the deck and you need to play it and i think the two copies is absolutely plenty it wouldn't be a chaos deck without the baby dragons here black dragon collapse up and white dragon wyver buster uh, they're at one for a reason they're really fucking strong you absolutely need to play them the freest extenders in the world uh, they do absolutely See everything you could possibly need in this deck and as a result you need to play them we're on a single copy of dragon duo as we kick start our actual thunder dragon engine here a single copy is more than enough if we were playing a more pure variant i'd run more copies but honestly i think one is plenty in this particular style of build Triple copies of OG Thunder Dragon. This is something that is a little bit more important, I think, at the moment. Being able to get that effect off, being able to thin out the deck, I think is really, really good for this particular build. Running triple copies of Thunder Dragon Dark. Some people prefer to go for two copies of this. I think the three, again, you just want to max out on thinning out the deck, giving you as many options in the graveyard as possible. And I think that this card really helps facilitate that. Triple copies of Raw. I think that this is the one that's not questionable at all. You need to play it at three, my personal opinion. And two copies of hawk again lots of people will like to play around this amount some people prefer more some people prefer less again just depending on the particular build i think the two is absolutely perfect for this particular one and then we round off our main deck Thunder Dragon Monsters with double copies of Dragon Matrix. I think the two again is perfect here. It's not really a card that you want to see all that often. To be honest with you, you want to really search it as much as possible. Uh, it sucks to be your main normal summon if it comes up and ends up that way, which is kind of sad, but sometimes that does happen. Uh, and I think the three gets a little bit bricky for what it is. I think in the old days with Thunder Dragon Colossus, this was certainly a lot more valuable than it is now, in my personal opinion. But being able to max out on those Thunder Dragon names can come up. Running two copies of Aloof Lupine. Honestly, I think the two works perfectly fine. A lot of people swear by three. A lot of people just don't play it at all. I think the two is perfectly good in this particular build. Instead, I favor going for three copies of Battery Man Solar. I don't normally like to mix the two all that much. But honestly, I think that, again, for a Chaos build, it works really nicely. Triple copies of Solar is, uh, well, more in favor because we're also playing Dimension Shifter, which makes it live off turn one. Dimension Shifter can end your opponent's turn. It sucks past turn one. I'm fully aware of that, but it normally ends your opponent's turn. If you're forced to go second and you see this card come up, it's basically a win button. 
Sure, it's certainly not perfect, but with Call by the Grave being at one, it's certainly a lot more easy to resolve. And honestly, with the way that the format has moved, I think this is far more impactful than it has been in other recent formats. And then our final hand trap for the deck today is Ash Blossom and Joy of Spring. I think that it's mandatory to play triple of this in pretty much any deck that you can. There are, you know, kind of a few exceptions, but honestly, in most decks, you really want to play three of these. They hit basically every single deck in some capacity. Some more than others, of course, but if you end up in a, like a rogue match or something like that, this alone will win you the game. Triple copies of Chaos Space because it's a Chaos deck. This card is absolutely fucking nuts. Definitely one of the best bits of Chaos support we have seen in a long time. Honestly, the whole Toon Chaos set was absolutely fucking awesome for this, and this card is no exception to that rule. You need to play triple copies of it. In fact, it's one of the main reasons that you would even play this deck anyway, is being able to use this card. Triple copies of Allure of Darkness has more synergy with the likes of Chaos Space being in here. Honestly, I think that Thunder Dragons is one of the few decks where you absolutely maximise on what you get off this card in normal scenarios you're basically going two for two here with this card uh, but honestly when when you're playing it in this deck you're almost always going to plus off it banishing thunder dragons off this gets you to draw cards gets you to search cards gets you to summon stuff it's just absolutely fucking insane and honestly i really think you need to play it in basically any thunder dragon build that you possibly can double copies of fusion here it's slightly less beneficial than it would be in other builds i think if we were playing like a more titan control we play the third copy i think the two is perfectly fine you could potentially cut this down to one if you really wanted to but i think the two is a nice sweet spot and then we move on to our three final one-offs all power spells here foolish burial pretty self-explanatory gold sark in this deck is absolutely fucking busted and instant fusion is so incredibly strong and important in this deck that honestly i think you need to play it it does give us a lot more utility options for the extra deck but also helps making thunder dragon titan a lot more easy than it would be under normal circumstances and as we move on to our discussion about the extra deck here, we are skipping over the side deck entirely because, again, it just depends on the format you're playing in, depends on exactly what you want to play here. There are plenty of videos out there that discuss side deck theory. Honestly, I'm not going to go into it here. So moving on to our extra deck, we have double copies of Titan. I think the two is perfectly fine. This extra deck, we want to fit as many utility cards in here as possible because the Thunder Dragon stuff on its own just isn't strong enough. Two copies of this is more than enough to be able to pop cards to make it fucking massive and, and do what it does best. Honestly, two is more than enough. A single copy of Kaminari Attack, just a really good uh, instant fusion target that you want in here. Just a single copy of Kaminari attack here. I think one is more than enough for obvious reasons. It is our main instant fusion target. And speaking of instant fusion targets, you've got Thousand Eyes Restrict and Millennium Eyes Restrict. Depending on what you're planning, depending whether you go first or second, both really good options to have available to you. A single copy of Link Karibo. We can use that to link these bad boys off or link off our tokens that we get off Solar, uh, amongst other things. That is our main usage of this card. Cross Sheep it is a deck that uses fusion, so why not take advantage of that? Predaplan Vert Anaconda, much the same reason. IP Mascarena, because when we go first, we want to have an option to interrupt our opponent. And usually we'll do so with one of these two utility cards here. Nightmare Phoenix, Nightmare Unicorn, for obvious reasons. But you can also go into cards like Zeroboros, which can be a really good option too. There's a lot of back row decks at the moment, too, so Triz Bainer has a lot more uh, benefit in that respect than it would normally. Again, back onto Zeroboros here. This can absolutely cuck the right decks if you're smart. A single copy of Appaloosa here, it's, it does what it says on the tin. And Boral Sword is there just to pump in extra damage. And that is all for today's video. Thank you very much for coming along. I do appreciate you being here. The fact that you made it this far into the video hopefully means you've enjoyed it enough to hit subscribe and the notification bell, or at least hate it enough that you couldn't possibly look away. Whatever side of that fence you're on, I'd like to hear in the comments down below exactly what you thought of the video. I do take the time to read as many of those comments as possible. It's also worth noting that despite the fact that we're going through a slew of deck profiles at the moment, we do do other content as well. Unfortunately, the well is a little bit dry with this whole thing that's going on in the world at the moment that I can't mention without getting demonetized. But regardless of your position on my channel as a whole, I do appreciate you making it this far into the video, and hopefully you'll stick around for some more. With that in mind, I'll see you in the next one. This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description.